About 3 in 10 of all English Canadian cable satellite subscribers and more than 42% of core viewer subscribers say they are familiar with the show. An overwhelming majority of those aware of the program said that they also watched it. Jerry? The arrival of the TNL network on the Canadian television scene would also provide an incredible boost to Canadian production and talent. The programming we propose is largely built on the support of independent producers who will be mandated to reflect Canada and its regions, cultural diversity and geographical attractions while catering to the demands of the Canadian viewers. The Travel and Leisure Network will offer 825 hours of non-duplicated travel and leisure programming in year one. Of that total, 540 hours, or 65%, are Canadian productions. Independent Canadian productions account for 33% of the total Canadian programming hours. Canadian program acquisitions from independent producers will amount to 10.3 million over the initial license term. We will spend more than 3.5 million on Canadian productions in year one alone, and a total of more than 30 million over the initial license term. Starting immediately in year one, our programming schedule will include Canadian programming representing 58% in the evening viewing period, growing to 67% in the last year of the initial license term. We also believe that the arrival on the scene of a new broadcaster in the specialty television market in Canada will open the door to new opportunities for talented producers and creative artists who have been largely unsuccessful or met with limited success in having access to networks that are controlled to a large degree by established and integrated players. We're convinced that our arrival will lead to the discovery of new talent and the emergence of innovative new ideas in the travel and leisure sector. Yeah. In the area of digital distribution... Uh, I've known for years, even as a radio reporter in Montreal, for the station that they bought, uh, which was CFCF <laughs> at that time. And uh, I trust these uh, people, that, uh, and, and also they have the professional know-how of, of putting uh, business plans together, and uh, this was a... Uh, a marriage to be. And it's funny, just one small incident. Uh, Jerry Dixon and I are friends for a long, we've been friends for a long period of time. And uh, while thinking to put in place this travel channel, I was trying to find who would be the best person. And it reminded me that a year ago, I was having breakfast one morning last, or two summers ago, in a small village in France called Bone. You were in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of France. It was 8.30 in the morning. I was all alone in the old Bone. And all of a sudden, I hear somebody yelling at me, Bella, what are you doing here this morning? And it's Jerry Dixon who is trying to is pay, taking pictures of Bone for Travel Travel. <laughs> so it started there. It's a good uh, start. Good wine. <laughs> but too early in the morning to have that wine. <laughs>